We're back with GW High School um, incoming seniors, class of 2012. Ladies, describe the conditions in your school. Okay, well, <laughs> every day you walk in and there's just, I hate to say it this way, but there's just too many people. Yes. And sometimes you can't fit in the hallway and it's very hard to get to classes yeah. um, at times because you're, it's just like a horde of people trying to and that's minus get. The, and that's minus the additional 300 that yes. are becoming in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it's not always people that want to be there. Like, it's just you have to deal with all of that every day. So you get used to it, and you find other ways around it. Mm -hmm. But it's not something that we should have to deal with. Mm -hmm. Like in our position, we said that we stand shoulder to shoulder, sharing the blood, sweat, and tears <laughs> with our peers, and that's totally it's true. Pretty mm -hmm. literal. <laughs> yeah. Like during lunch, sometimes there will be people sitting in sitting the, hallway, the hallway, the whole hallway, and you can't walk through the hallway because they'll all just be yeah. there. There's really no other place for them to sit besides the ground, mm -hmm. so they take up the space that they can find, mm -hmm. and it's just really not enough space for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and how is that for, you, for your learning experience? I mean, you know, there's, there's the Adequate Education Act. Mm -hmm. Do you think you're getting the adequate educa education with the conditions that, that you're in? Um, <laughs> you, well, as students, you learn to adapt to what you're put into what situations you're put into um, and having an over an excess of students you just you learn to do the best and, and, and with, see that that is yeah. where uh, that's where I and, and believe me I, I applaud you students for and the students for succeeding under those conditions but it's these are conditions that are totally unacceptable what do you have to say to the senators that that you you presented this petition to we want a solution it may not happen this year, and that's basically what it's come down to. We're going yeah. back to status quo, but we need to see a long-term solution. It, whether it's building a new high school, which is probably what should really be done because there's not enough space mm -hmm. for everyone that comes to GW. Mm -hmm. um, we want a long-term solution mm -hmm. just to fix this. We've been dealing with this for over the 15 this, for years. For 15 years, yeah. So. We need to find a solution. So. Yeah. <laughs> let's, go, let's go to Joe from Denado. Joe, welcome to the bus. Mr. Loharbo, I commend the ladies too. Uh, my question is, um, with the overcrowding crisis they, they're going through now, why does the superintendent and the legislature wait until the end of the school year to discuss this and bring this topic up. They can plan these things prior to, they pro can project incoming students already by the uh, first semester. And from there, work in HODL. Um, uh, either redistribute incoming students to uh, surrounding high schools or, uh, or redistrict. Or why, so why did they have to wait this long? And like these people, or this new uh, class suffer, and then they wonder why um, we have a high uh, truancy problem, high uh, uh, frustration with the students being reckless at schools because our leaders don't have the responsibility in addressing these things. Uh, uh, yeah, Joe, well, th thank you very much for, for your call. Ladies, he's, he's, he's absolutely right. You mm -hmm. just mentioned yep. it before we went to Joe. Uh, GW's been dealing with this for the past 15 mm -hmm. years, at least in your whole high school experience. Yeah. All of your high school experience has been with that. It has been, yes. <laughs> yeah, and so that's been the norm for your, for your mm -hmm. high school experience. And that's, that's part of the main reason why we're here. Mm -hmm. We want it to stop. There mm -hmm. needs yeah. to be... We've been in high school for three years yes. and no one's said mm -hmm. anything. Like, no one has. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, in that entire time. And, and like, no one in the legislature has talked about it. Mm -hmm. at length the way they have been and the way that they keep should keep doing until they find a solution mm -hmm. because the longer we have to wait the worse it's going to well, get. Well I mean and I'm baffled because there are quite a few quite a few um, legislators that are that were prior educators. Mm -hmm. Yes and that's why Senator or Speaker Wampat is trying to get she has attended our meetings and has tried She's the one to that push called for, the called for the round table and has tried to push to find a solution including trying to build a new high school at one point, but that didn't go through, no. so mm -hmm. it fell through. And anyway, ladies, uh, I, I appreciate you being uh, our studio guests uh, this, this evening. Uh, good yes. luck. Uh,
hey, this year, enjoy, though, okay? I mean, yes. enjoy. It's your, it's your senior <laughs> year. Um, you know, I, I wish we, we could, you know, just snap our fingers and as overcrowding mm -hmm. and, and books and desks and, and all that will be, be solved. But enjoy your senior year. Uh, thank you for coming in here. And one more thing to say to the senators. <laughs> Uh, to keep focusing on GW and even though you have a lot of things on your plate there's still a lot of students that need help and that need resources and that we can't continue to be ignored yes so. I, there you go hey that's going to do it for this edition of the buzz join me tomorrow morning in SL63 Island Pride Station where we'll talk some more but that's going to be it for tonight thank you very much adios Close